Half square triangles are common units that are used in a lot of different quilt patterns. There are many different methods for making these. So how do you know which method will fit the situation that you're in? Today, I'm gonna to share with you some questions you can answer to help figure out what's the best way to make half square triangles. Welcome to Evita Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So a half square triangle unit is a unit that is made by two right angle triangles that are sewn together on the diagonal. And it's important to know that in half square triangles, the grain line matches the outer lines of the triangle. Now there are a lot of different techniques for making half square triangles. And sometimes it's confusing to know which method to use. So here are some questions that you can help figure out what is the best method for your project. The first question is, do you have a favorite method, a way that you absolutely love to make half square triangles? If so, use that method. Don't let the quilt please tell you that there's anything wrong with the way you're doing it if you can make accurate half square triangles. Use your favorite method and don't worry about what other people say. Just remember that if the pattern you're using is designed around a particular technique and your method uses more fabric, then you will have to account for that when you're getting your fabric. The second thing to consider is the size of the fabric that you have. If you have a narrow or small fabric size, that might limit your options. For example, if you have narrow strips, then you could use the strip method for making half square triangles. Just a little warning, technically that is making two quarter square triangles sewn together because the edge of the triangles is the bias. And so those are more difficult to work with, but sometimes if that's the only fabric that you have, then that's the option that you have to go with. Alternately, if you have a small square, you can use the four at a time method. This has the same issue. It's gonna have bias on the edges, but if that's the only option that can use the fabric that you have, then you'll have to go with that. If you don't have fabric limitations, I don't normally recommend those two methods, and I recommend that you move on and try a different method. Now, if you're brand new to half square triangles and you've never done them before, or if you've tried them and you really struggle with them, then it can be really overwhelming. And in that situation, I recommend the easiest ever method for half square triangles. You can check the link for the tutorial, but this method is really easy. There's no tricky math to figure out and it will give you an accurate half square triangle piece. This method does take a little bit more fabric than some of the other ones, but the ease will make up for that. Now, if you are very accurate at cutting and stitching, or if you have a die cutting machine and a die for the size that you need, then you might want to use the obvious method. And the obvious method includes cutting triangles and then sewing them together. And it seems like that would be the best method, but because you're stitching on the bias, sometimes that's a problem. So if you can cut and stitch your triangles accurately, then that's great, go for that. But if you're struggling with having your triangle stretch on the bias, then you might want to try a different method. The next thing to think about is how many half square triangles you need. If you don't need very many, like only two, four, maybe eight, then consider the most popular method. This method is really popular for a reason. It's popular because it's easy to do and it gives you accurate pieces every time. This method does make two half square triangle units at a time, and that's fine because half square triangles are usually used in an even number. If you need a lot of half square triangles, like 20, 40, or 100, then there are some other options that you might want to consider. The first two are variations of each other. There's the eight at a time method or the grid method. Both of these involve marking lines on your fabric and then stitching and then cutting apart the squares. As you can guess, the eight at a time method makes eight, but the grid method can be used to make as many as you need at one time. Both of these methods are efficient ways 
to make a lot of half square triangle units. The downside to those is they do require trimming each unit individually to get it to the exact size. That can be tedious, but it is absolutely necessary to get the size that you need. So if you don't mind trimming, then those two are great methods to use. If you really don't want to do trimming and you do need a lot of half square triangles, then I would recommend paper piecing. Paper piecing involves having a foundation paper, either strips of paper or rectangles. There's different kinds of paper you can get. And then you stitch on the line, cut them apart, and they're all ready to go. Every quilter should know multiple ways to make half square triangles, so feel free to try each of these methods and see which one you like the best. And then these questions will help you decide which one fits your particular project. If you're looking for quilt blocks or quilt patterns that use half square triangles, then be sure to check out my website, evadastudio.com.